Every child deserves the right to be safe from violence, no matter where they come from and what they believe in, even if it's a girl or a boy. But sadly, not all children are safe from violence. In 2010, Pakistan was hit by severe floods and Swat Valley was also badly affected. A region enriched with traditions and a proud history was then marked with insecurity. In fact, it was this region that the Nobel Prize winner Malala Yousafzai was attacked by the extremists and her crusade for the education of girls was started. As the humanitarian response to the floods began, it was clear that children were vulnerable to all types of physical and psychological violence. Especially girls could have ended up being punched, kicked, yelled at, sexually abused or being treated in cruel ways or exploited otherwise. In response to the risk, Pakistan Red Crescent Society, working in close partnership with the Canadian Red Cross, made the prevention of violence against girls and boys a part of its Recovery Phase Integrated Health and Disaster Risk Reduction Project. The goal was to help reduce the risk of violence on an everyday basis and to counter its possibilities for the future disasters. Pakistan Red Crescent Society focused on two key steps. First, the capacity of Red Crescent staff and volunteers was increased using a training program called 10 Steps to Creating Safe Environments. And secondly, the International Federation of the Red Cross's Community-Based Health and First Aid Module for Addressing Violence was adopted and implemented in schools and in communities. Pakistan Red Crescent Society's senior management was highly involved in the project with an aim to help reduce the risk of violence against children. An interactive, respectful and culturally appropriate approach was applied for conversations and trainings of the communities to help begin examining alternatives to violence and considering how to build on a protection system that they already have in place. Training teachers at schools and briefing parents in the community was essential because physical and psychological punishments like using canes, slapping and making insult are a common practice, although they are not formally permitted in Pakistani schools. We learned this from the BSAF program that we learned from the children with a very polite way, with a very nice way, with a very nice way, with a very nice way. ताकि इसमें ये हो कि वो उन बिचारों में कोई एहसास महरूमी ना हो और वो आगे जाके इस मुल्क और माशरे के लिए बहुत अच्छी तरह से अपना फर्ज अपना किरदार अदा कर सकें। The community-based health and first aid violence prevention module, also referred to as Be Safe, allowed Pakistan Red Crescent Society's local volunteers to have detailed conversation with elders. Religious leaders, women's groups, teachers, and youth. Resulting in communities finding local and cultural appropriate solutions for protecting children against violence while providing care for children who have been hurt. यहाँ पे ये है कि बच्चों को स्कूल में स्पेशली कार्पोरेट पनिशमेंट की वजह से वो स्कूल छोड़ जाते थे और उसकी वजह से वो डिफरेंट मतलब लेबर्स में इन्वॉल्व हो जाते थे कम्युनिटी में जब से मतलब यहाँ पे ये प्रोजेक्ट्स आए हैं स्पेशली पीआरसीएस के हवाले से मैं कहूँगा बीसीएफ के तो मतलब उन्होंने टीचर्स की वो कैपेसिटी बिल्ड की उसको वो अल्टरनेटिव मेथड्स भी सिखाए कि किस तरह अपने बच्चों को कारपोरेट पनिशमेंट नहीं देनी स्टिक का यूज़ नहीं करना किस तरह अपने अल्टरनेट तरीके से बच्चों को मतलब समझाना है Engaging women was a significant challenge in some of the highly conservative communities of Swat district. But the Pakistan Red Crescent Society is thankful to the dedicated female volunteers who took on the challenge and went extra miles in ensuring female participation in community gatherings at villages and in schools. 
में भी मारपीट हुआ करती थी करते थे और आम माशरे में भी हमारे हाथ से भी मारपीट हुआ है बच्चों के साथ लेकिन इन सीशनों से हमने खुद भी कुछ सबक सीखा है तालीमी आगाही की वजह से लोगों में रुझान कम हो रहा है और तशद के बजाय अब प्यार मोहब्बत से लोग बच्चों को समझाते हैं और ज्यादातर उस पर अमल दरामद करते हैं Pakistan Red Crescent Society district teams also developed strong linkages with local social welfare departments and child protection cells and mandated the village committees established in the target locations to make referrals to these agencies in case of any incident of violence against children. During 2012 to 2015, 35% of adult community members in the selected union councils were provided with awareness sessions through a network of trained volunteers. Around 1000 male and female teachers participated in the Be Safe awareness sessions which reduced corporal punishment in schools. The integrated recovery programs midterm review survey revealed that 85% of male and female adult community members have reported positive behavior change towards children in their households. जब मैं तकरीबन क्लास 6 में था तो मैं एक दिन स्कूल से छुप गया था क्योंकि उस टाइम जो था ना टीचर ज्यादा मार लेते स्टूडेंट्स को तो मैं एक दिन छुप गया था मेरे अंकल ने उसको बता दिया कि ये छुपा हुआ है मारो इसको इसने दो डंडे मुझ पे जो है टूटा हुआ था इतना मारा था मेरे को आज तक मैं उस डर से कल मेरा पेफर है लेकिन मैं आज भी डर रहा हूँ तकरीबन एक हफ्ते से मुझे नींद नहीं आ रहा डर की वजह से आज तक वो जो है ना वो खौफ और तशद का जो असर है आज तक हमारे ऊपर जो है ना हमारे ऊपर है स्कूल में पहले ज़्यादा तशद हो अब जो हम भी सेब के प्रोग्राम चला रहे तो काफ़ी फर्क पड़ा हुआ है